Ready? General Omar Bradley warned years ago that America today is running on the momentum of God of the ancestry. And when that momentum runs down, God help America. I come from the Christian Faith in America magazine. You can make a difference by sharing God, by sharing the values of God and restoring the principles which once made this gracious nation this great nation. Over the past several years I've studied, I've read a number of books. I'm back to the basics. Heritage. Last year I attended a pastor's briefing and attended the Heritage Tour in Washington, D.C. where I learned many of the things that had made this great nation great. The origins of some of the things that we do. This country was founded on the God we trust, although it was 1954 before we adopted the motto. We've lost our principles and our values, the ideas and the things that we're going. And when I look at the points and the main points of the, of the things that we're talking about today, the people came to this country. They were seeking religious freedom. All of the nations, England and Spain, the nations of Europe were all rulers rule. Whether they were the king or a monarch or a dictator, the clan head, it was rulers rule. Somebody was ruling. And the person in charge was making the rules. Even in the churches, it was rulers rule, depending on who the bishop was of the church, who the clergy was. It even depended on who was king or queen. Because if the queen happened to be Catholic, the Protestants were in trouble. If the queen were Protestant, it was the Catholics were in trouble. So they came to this country looking for a freedom to worship. And Thomas Jefferson's, he studied the earliest forms of this representative government. He studied the Israelites when they came out of Egypt. They had the first form of self-government. Then the Anglo-Saxons after them. They had self-rule. And Mr. Jefferson proposed this. said the children of Israel in the wilderness led by a pillar, a fire by night, and a cloud by day. And on the other side, the Hengist and Horsa, the Saxon chiefs from which we claim the honor of being the sin, whose principles and form of government we will soon. Thomas Jefferson, when he set up and wrote the Declaration of Independence, says we followed somebody else's path who had free rule. These men sought religious freedom. They wrote the freedom of religion into the law of the land. This religious freedom that we're talking about, we find in our Declaration of Independence. In the first part of the Declaration of Independence, it discusses and talks about the laws of nature and nature's God. As it goes further into the second paragraph, it says that to secure these rights, government are instated amongst men, deriving their just powers from the consent of the government. So that means self-ruled. The people that are supposed to be ruled. The First Amendment of our United States Constitution says that Congress shall make no law respecting the establishment of religion or prohibiting the free exercise thereof. We were intended to have a freedom of religion. And our own Bible says that it is for freedom that Christ has set us free. Stand firm then, and do not let yourselves be burdened down again by the yoke of slavery. Galatians 5 and 1. 
Going into a third point, the Christian leaders are failing in their values and their principles. I blame the poet. When this country was founded, the British called the preachers the Black Road Regiment because they preached and stirred up the pulpits so much that our Declaration of Independence is like made up of a group of rules or a group of the message.